In this video, we will discuss how to process PF contribution by employer and contribution towards ESI by employer. Now, in order to process contribution, we go back to payroll watchers. So I will select the option payroll watchers over here. And now we need to press Alt A. Now in the field process for this time select the option PF contribution. So earlier to process salary we selected the option salary. Now we are required to process PF contribution. Therefore we will select the option PF contribution. Now specify the pay period which is for the month of April and specify the group whose employees PF contribution needs to be processed. So I'll select the group as sales and for the field sort by I'll select the option employee name and for the ledger I need to specify the ledger called PF payable and this ledger PF payable is created as follows. So you can press Alt C in order to create the PF payable ledger and in the paid creation screen you can specify the name of the ledger as PF payable. Select the payhead type as not applicable and specify the group as current liabilities and save the ledger creation. And then select the ledger over here. So based upon the salary which we processed an equal contribution of 12% of basic which is divided among EPS and EPF has been calculated and now we are processing the same. And in order to save this process we need to press Ctrl A. And if you remember when we defined the salary structure we included this contribution pay heads. So because of that inclusion whenever we process salary for an employee the contribution will be calculated alongside and will be processed in the background but we need to pass these entries as well in order to bring them into effect so we just save this uh, pf payable entry now we are required to make payment towards the same and before we pass that payment entry we are required to process PF admin charge at 0.5% and EDLI contribution at 0.5%. So if you remember we talked about these two pay heads when we uh, talked about creation of various pay heads. So let me show you what those pay heads are so that uh, you can uh, refresh your memory. So this is the PF admin expense pay head. So we are required to process this pay head and along with it we are required to process this contribution pay head which is EDLI contribution. Now in order to process both the pay heads we need to access the journal voucher using accounting vouchers and press the F7 key to access journal voucher. Over here we have an option called other charges autofill. So press Ctrl O to access that option specify the month for pay period which is the month of April specify the employee group as sales now in the field expense ledger we need to create a ledger called admin expense ledger so this ledger has been created as follows so this ledger has been created under the group indirect expenses and set the option no for the fields inventory value affected and use for payroll and save the ledger. So I will select that ledger and over here you need to specify the payhead which is PF admin expense payhead and for the field EDLI contribution select the option EDLI contribution payhead and for the field EDLI admin charges select the option not applicable because these charges has been waived off. So if you remember PF admin charge is a minimum of 500 rupees. So it has been calculated accordingly and EDLI contribution is also calculated as follows. 
and just save the journal entry by pressing Ctrl A. All right, now let's proceed with payment of provident fund, and we will press the F5 key to access the payment voucher. Over here, you need to press Alt A to access payment autofill options. Now, for the field process for, select the option PF Chalan. So earlier we used to select salary payment. Now select the option PF Chalan and specify the pay period, the voucher date which is the date of entry, the employee group which is sales department and select the ledger PF payable over here and specify the method of payment. Usually we make payment towards PF through bank but for this example I will select the option cash. So over here you can see that the field PF payable represent the employee contribution and the field EPF at 12% represent employees contribution towards PF and the field EDLI contribution and PF admin expense are self explanatory and then press Ctrl A to save this payment entry. Now if we press Alt P and print this voucher we would be able to print the chalan so this is the pf chalan and this is how it would look once it is printed so that was all about pf contribution and processing the same in the next video we will talk about processing esi contribution and making payment towards esi contribution and making payment towards professional tax.